Oh, this week on Virgin. You can win trips to New York, Paris and Rome with Tropicana. 100% pure mm. squeeze juice. Uh, just to identify our specially squeezed tracks. They were giving that day. away at Victoria Station today. Oh, I've had some, it's nice. Yeah, yeah, and the, these Great Americans fruits. were like that, with the, you know, you get a little sample cup. Mm -hmm. And they were just stood there, I was watching, they drank it, and they didn't know what to do with the cup because there's no litter bins. And they just stood there, wouldn't move. I mean, it's, it's a very, it's weird, isn't it, how the Americans think about litter to, to they were concerned where they put the disposal. Oh, is that right? Cup. Yeah. Oh. And this guy came along with a bunch of, oh, thank God, and we were wondering, we were really worried where we had to put there, and they put it in the plastic bag and they were happy. Do you remember that advert where, um, if you drop litter, it went, dong! I don't, is it one way out the car window thing? Was it might have been. There was, there was another, and whenever, yeah, it was like one of those sort of things. And whenever somebody dropped litter, it went bong like that. It was about the same time as they had those adverts against criminals, where everybody would stand doing that. Oh yeah, yeah. Everybody would clapping. Yeah, yeah. Like, well done. But I, I, I saw another video for um, it's for Gomez. Bring it on down. And it's got that uh, public information film about uh, where the hammer hits a peach. Do you remember that? Was it for, tr for wear your suit belt? Oh, I'm struggling with that, Pete. You remember a big hammer? I have to say, I'm struggling with oh, that. Are you? Yeah. You shouldn't be, really. <laughs> Do you remember it? The big hammer I, I, in the peaches. I don't remember that at all. Like, I'm sure it was... A, uh, we did a phone in a while ago in public information films, and we had that one with the, the doll getting ripped up by the escalator. That was oh, an horrible yeah. one, wasn't it? Oh, anyway. Anyway. Yeah, back to Tropicana, then. Yeah, um... <laughs> 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 now we've been through, uh, you know, government information films. Yeah, so we're giving away these trips. New York, Paris and Rome, right, with Tropicana. Uh, what you've got to do is listen for the squeeze track, identify it, and, uh, if, and you could be off to New York for breakfast, uh, Paris for lunch, or dinner in Rome. Wow. wow. So, uh, be listening all week for your chance to win with Tropicana, only on Virgin. Christopher Adams. Oh, yes! Breakfast on Virgin. Stand by for surprises. <laughs> Yo, these little tennis players can't play in the rain and have to have a rest. That might be quite tired. If they were footballers, they'd do that. No, they wouldn't. They'd Man United opting out of the FA Cup because they need a bit of a rest. They've got 78 oh, games. 78 games. <laughs> <laughs> Holly's holiday programme. Holly was yeah. on last night on BBC I'm on Prime them. Time. You're gorgeous, but you can't ride a horse. <laughs> you ride a <laughs> what was wrong with that? I know, I've fooling. Only fools and hooks. No, 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 no. Christopher Evans Breakfast Show on Virgin Radio. Digital. Back tomorrow from 6.30. Watch your heart detective. Watch your heart detective. Watch your heart detective. Hey, Pete. Yo. Do you know? Yo. Do you know he wrote that song when he was watching that program with just the carrot and... Like, <laughs> and Robert, he did. Robert Powell. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Just a wicked, I love that wicked sinister bass in it. Tastes, 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 one of the, uh, quite, uh, probably one of the f first, say, five releases on Stiff Records, maybe? Mm. It goes back quite a bit, that, you know? That'd oh, be a good thing to read about Stiff Records. If Mojo Magazine or someone like that did a thing on yeah. Stiff Records. I think probably the first, uh, maybe the first or second release on Stiff would have been uh, Reckless Eric. Something like that. I don't know. About your superior knowledge. Ah, uh, well, yeah. It is going now, my superior knowledge, so it can't be superior anymore. <laughs> it's just a, 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 a sort yeah, of. Yeah. About your equal knowledge. <laughs> um, on to uh, your knowledge. I passed on mine. You, you tell me. No, this is a funny story, right? So today, um, I was out with my friend. And the, there is a shop near, very near to where we work in London called the Beatles Shop, yeah. which is, if you listen to the program regularly, you, that, that, that's heaven to me, right? Yeah. So I went into this Beatles Shop today and I found myself um, a book. It's a great little shop. It's a little tacky, but there's some great stuff in there yeah. if you look. Yeah, there's some tacky stuff, but there's bound to be because it's for all the tourists. Yeah. But there's some mm. brilliant stuff in that, and mm. it's and there's a gallery at the back that an American lady runs called Penny Lane Gallery. Fantastic. And they've, and they've got things like they've got cells from the Yellow Submarine film, right? So I, I bet you were thinking to yourself, shall I? I was, I was, I was. You'll have to get one sooner or later, she, won't she, you? She pulled out for me actual drawings, pencil <laughs> drawings, which were the the sketches for the cells. But, yeah. but anyway, it's just. But a, you will. You must. You've got to treat yourself one. I will. Day. I will. You must do. So I goes in there today. And I found a book, a Paul, um, Paul McCartney, not a lot of people know, but has been doing paintings for years and years and years, mm. and he's finally got around to uh, exhibiting them in Germany. Yeah. Uh, and it's, Why Germany out of interest? I don't know, it's, I think it was it even in Hamburg, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, I think that it might is. make sense right? probably, yeah. So, uh, and in this shop I found a new book, and it's a book of all Paul McCartney's paintings, there's pictures of them, it's almost like a catalogue for the exhibition, right? Mm. So I've got that, and then I go through into the gallery a bit, and I get talking to the lady in the back, and we're talking about the, the Beatles. Stuff. She knows the stuff. We're talking about yeah. the Beatles, and she's showing me all these yellow submarine things, and I'm showing her the Paul McCartney book, and we're having a great chat and talking about which one's true, and the, 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 there is actually an existence, I don't know where it is, one time when the Beatles were on tour, but because 
were sort of besieged by fans. They, they couldn't go out of the hotel. Uh, they sent out and they got paintings, uh, they got like paints and paintbrushes and paper, and there is an existence somewhere, a piece of art, a big, great big piece of paper, uh, which is a painting by all four Beatles, which would be a brilliant thing to us. That, that's still in existence, somebody has that. So we're, to we're talking, Blimey. so we're talking about this, and you know, she's saying, and anyway, I go to go, I buy myself a yellow submarine badge, this Paul McCartney book, and a couple of postcards, and as I'm going, she goes, <laughs> she goes, uh, well, you must stay in touch because uh, we're going up to Liverpool doing a convention and we could do with somebody to look after the shop for us. <laughs> really? Yeah. Joking. <laughs> off off the job in the shop. You must go do it for one day. <laughs> I know, it'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? You'd never come back to this, though, wouldn't you? I said to her, you've got the best job in the world. And she, she wants you to trust you enough to go and look Well, she, she said stay in touch. I mean, it, was, it wasn't a firm offer, but she, she said, you know, if I play my cards right, I could be there working in the Beatles shop. That's fantastic. Well, that I know. Was for a day. I know. How good is that? Just talking about Beatles stuff all day. Yeah. That is your dream job, isn't it? It certainly is. But, um, yeah, it's well worth a visit. It's, um, yeah. I can't remember the street now. If you in, in London town, look, look it up in a, in a, a guide and, uh, And may maybe if it's well there in Liverpool, I'll be behind council. But they, um, at the moment, uh, and I'm sure you'll go up there because you'll get a chance to go home a bit more often now because, uh, we're, we're off the other shift on, on the weekend. I really enjoyed night. doing that weekend, bro. Yeah. yeah it's a yeah. shame we come off it. Yeah, it's the way it goes. But there's a John Lennon exhibition up there now, isn't there, his drawings? Yeah, I've seen those before. Oh, have you? Yeah. But the, 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 the old radio station, we should have nicked that picture. Yeah, there was one in reception. Yeah. I told uh, you a funny story about somebody we know who nicked a load of John Lennon lithographs. That's there. right, yeah. Ah, no. <laughs> anyway, on to... Anyway, uh, should we play Beatles record yeah? then to celebrate my, my, okay. uh, my job offer in, in the Beatles shop? Across the universe. <laughs> Across the universe, uh, you're smiling from ear to ear there, oh, aren't that's you? So good that. This is nighttime on Virgis. We're here, uh, Virgis. <laughs> I know that's new. Oh. I bored Pete with the entire history of that record. <laughs> well, I wish <laughs> we, had we haven't got time now. Just I know, I know. What we have, but maybe next time. Yeah. Uh, this is nighttime on Virgin with Gary Davis at ten. Number forty-three, number twenty-eight, number fifty-six, and number one. Where are you? At the bus stop, playing the lottery. Or ordering wonton soup, beef in black bean sauce, stir-fry vegetables and egg-fried rice, without even referring to the menu. Diet Tango. You need it because you're weak. Diet Tango does not allow you to eat willy-nilly. Street Luton, a guarantee may be required. Nighttime on Virgin. The most important thing is that they have a great personality. Keep <laughs> jazz. Classic tracks, today's best music. This is Pete Mitchell and Jeff Lloyd. This is Nighttime on Virgin. Gary Davis uh, along and the uh, Breakfast Show crew here at 6.30 in the morning. That's some good songs tonight. Enjoyed it. I'm oh, sorry? There are programs in between. Uh, well, you know, you'll be just, uh, well, look, you've gone, they mentioned them then. No, no. I've, 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 no, I've, you know I insist. I just wanted to point out that, well, there'll, there'll be Rich Allen and, um, who's it? Bill Kennedy. Are we going to just check that? You check it. I think. I think I'm right. I hope you're right. I'm all right. I'm all right. I wasn't. The only reason why I did that because I, I wouldn't. I, I didn't realise. I wouldn't have known. I just thought, you know. All right. You know things to, to, to mention. Uh, oh, that doesn't sound right. Hang on a minute. Um, this is that brilliant new thing we've got where you're nowhere near a microphone oh, no. <laughs> and nobody can hear you apart from me because I'm in the same room. Oh, as you. Uh, um, yeah, am I right? Richard Allen and Phil Kennedy. Right. I say. Right. Well, Soldier. So, um, yeah, Gary, Richard, Phil, and Chris, on the way. Their debut single, Nothing, is out on Monday. With less than six months until the year 2000, you should have checked that your computers and equipment containing microchips are ready for the millennium bug. But have you checked your health and safety and legal and insurance liabilities? Have you put contingency plans in place? Because if you haven't, your business isn't ready. Action 2000 has produced a series of free help books Make sure you've done enough. Call 0845-601-2000. That's 0845-601-2000. The Millennium Bug. Time is running out. From the sky.
across the UK. This is Virgin News. At 10 o'clock, Tony Blair has spoken to President Clinton to brief him on the latest developments in the Northern Ireland peace talks. With just two hours till the deadline, there's still no word on whether the IRA will give up its weapons. It's rumoured the terrorist leaders could give their answer in a statement tonight after a secret meeting with Sinn Féin. Jackpot is £3.7 million. Pounds. Rain for England and Wales overnight, but Scotland and Northern Ireland will be mainly dry, cloudy and showery tomorrow. Virgin News, I'm Neil O'Mahony. 12.15 a.m. Gary Davis. I have a pretty good idea what you've got in mind. But it's late, late, late. Virgin. 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 12.15 a.m. Classic tracks. They just play good music all day long. Yeah, I love them. The game's bad. Music. Just like the music they play, really. It gets me. <laughs> Better than six, nearly. Virgin. Such a good song there, Madonna and Beautiful Stranger. Before that, it was Talk Talk and It's My Life. It's Wednesday night, it's Virgin Radio, and uh, good evening. How you doing? It's Gary back on the radio uh, with you through till one o'clock tonight. So let me know how you are tonight. Send me a little old email wherever you're listening uh, to the show at the moment. Just uh, just send me an email. Let me know you're okay, all right? It's uh, studio at virginradio.com. So uh, coming up on the show tonight, it's a love thing at 11.30, just after uh, 11 o'clock. In fact, around about an hour from now, you can uh, give us a call and tell us what song you want to hear on the love thing tonight, okay? And uh, we'll do our best to play it for you. Also, uh, tonight, managed to get hold of uh, the new album from Macy Gray. Uh, the album is called On How Life Is. Macy Gray, you may remember, uh, she had a... Well, she has something different on the show. She, she didn't have a record of the week. She had a record of the fortnight because uh, she is just so brilliant. Uh, you may remember the track that we featured, which is called Do Something, her new album as well, a little bit later on. Uh, but it's uh, probably one of the best quality albums I've heard all year. Uh, and we'll give that away a little bit later on tonight. Uh, plus, we'll have uh, loads of fun stuff, and uh, I'll tell you more about that right after this. <laughs> Don't forget to listen in to Danny Baker this Sunday morning at 10 o'clock, straight after the weekend breakfast show. Uh, thank you for the emails. Uh, Play something lively for me as I'm sat on work on my own waiting to chat to Americans. God help me. <laughs> That's uh, from Steve P. Uh, you can't get more lively than those two. Divine Comedy, Sunny for the Weekend, Cheryl Crow, and a change would do you good. Um, and uh, talking of those damned Americans, nothing wrong with the Americans. They're cool. They're listening to the show. Uh, hi to you if you're listening over the net at the moment and you're in the States. Uh, Bob Solom is. Uh, he says, uh, you're coming through loud and clear. Uh... Thanks from Middle America, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 90 miles north of Chicago. My kind of town, Chicago is. This is uh, quite interesting. <laughs> what do you put a fez on your head for? Fion Leona's just put a, a fez on her head. It looks quite cute, actually. I like that. Uh, this is quite interesting. Travel agents uh, have been uh, talking about the ridiculous calls that sometimes they have to deal with uh, in their job. Uh, one travel agent said, uh, a man called uh, furious about a, a Florida package we did. I asked what was wrong with the vacation in Orlando. He said he was expecting an ocean view room. I tried to explain that it's not possible since Orlando is in the middle of the state. He replied, don't lie to me. I looked on the map and Florida is a very thin state. <laughs> Another uh, lady called a travel agent. She needs to know how it was possible that her flight from Detroit left at 8.20 a.m. and got into Chicago at 8.33 a.m. Travel agent said she tried to explain that Michigan was an hour ahead of Illinois, uh, but she couldn't understand the concept of time zones. Finally, she said, I told her the plane went very fast and she bought that. <laughs> uh, and this is a really good, another travel agent talking about uh, a man who asked, how do I know which plane to get on? Uh, 
uh, travel agent said, well, what exactly do you mean? Uh, to which he replied, I was told my flight number is 823, but none of these damn planes have those numbers on them. <laughs> what are the wacky things that you have to put up with, uh, maybe doing your job? Have you ever had any uh, real funny experiences dealing with the public? Uh, if so, why don't you call me and tell me about them? 0500 30 12 15. Stereophonics on Virgin. I'm not 